Hi guys, welcome to the Classes Corner, I'm Kat, and this week I'm going to be looking at the classical figure of Hecube, or Hecuba, if that's your translation. Now, Hecube is the wife of Priam and the Queen of Troy at the time of its fall. Um, she is mainly portrayed in ancient literature in the Iliad, and the two tragedies, the Trojan Women and Hecube, um, and those are both by Euripides. Now, her main characterization is of this aged queen um, turned slave um, due to the fall of Troy. Um, in the Iliad, her main characterization is of the mother of Hector and Paris and the wife of Priam, all while trying to keep her duty as queen with the worries that her, all her children will die and her city will fall. Um, she is said to have 19 children with the King Priam, um, he said to have 50 children, but Hecube has 19 of those, including Paris, Hector and the prophetess Cassandra. Now, in the Iliad, like I said, her main concern is what will happen to her children and her city should Troy fall. And to be honest, I think she has the, the most emotional scene in the Iliad, um, which is when Hector is about to go out to fight Achilles, she embodies this grieving mother before her children even dies. Many of her sons have already died in this war and she, and Hector is her firstborn, Hector is her first baby and she knows if he goes out there he will die and she does actually watch him die and there is such tragedy in Hecabe. Um, she's portrayed as a very wise figure as well. Um, old women, as she is an older woman, um, in Greek literature are often portrayed as very wise, very strong figures, but the tragedy that she has in her life sort of turns her. Um, and most of her children die. I think all of her children die actually. She is the example that the ancient Greeks could look to of the horrors of what happens to the women of a city that has fallen. Um, obviously in ancient Greece, in Athens, where these, where the tragedies were at least were formed, or in Asia Minor, where many of these battles were held pretty much every summer, the Greeks went to war a lot. And when they captured a city, the women and children would be taken as slaves, and the older women would be taken as slaves as well. One day you could be a queen, and then the next you could be a slave. And a Greek women and Greek people and Greek families were aware of this and when depicting it in literature there was this almost empathy even if they were the other side because you never knew what that if that could happen to your city if your mother or grandmother could just or yourself if you were an older woman could just be taken as a slave because your city has fallen and your security is gone um so that is really the focus of Hecuba's character. Now in the tragedies in the Trojan Women, she is seen as mass is massively resentful and angry and just sad, holding on to her remaining daughters, even though they know she knows that they're going to either be sacrificed to the gods to get them home to Greece or or taken as slaves and she clings to them desperately but with no hope of actually being able to keep them by her side. Um, she knows that her grandchildren will be killed, her grandson Steinax is going to be taken and killed. Characters like Odysseus are kind to her in the ancient Greek way but it's still this hopelessness of this fallen character and it's tremendously sad. Um, and in the tragedy Hecabe, uh, she she still has hope in that play. Uh, there is one hope of that she, had, before the war, she sent her youngest son, Polydorus, to a neighbouring king, a friendly king, in hopes that he would be safe, but that King Polymester then turns on the Trojans after Troy has fallen, thinks there's no point in being friends with him, and then kills her youngest son, and she discovers this by his body washing up on the beach. So she has lost her last son, she has lost her last son, sorry, and she then turns murderous. She kills Polymester when he comes to her and he blinds him, it becomes very brutal, like she becomes... The, 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 the portrayal of in that play is she becomes something not quite human. Um, and this sort of dehumanisation of Hecabe from this queen to slave to something else is 
often seen in other myths of her. Um, there is a portrayal of her where instead of being taken as a slave, she turns um, rabid, basically, from the grief of the loss of her children and her indignity at being taken as a slave, and the gods turn her into a dog. Um, so there's a lot of dog imagery with her, which is weird? I don't know. Like, there is this ancient portrayal of her dog, this ancient portrayal of her um, on paintings as her transformation into a dog. Um, so, because in some versions of them she just dies, and in some versions she becomes this dog through through the pain of her situation. She loses her husband, she loses all of her children, and she loses her freedom. Um, and then eventually she loses her humanity, and it's a very, very tragic character. She is a very complicated character, a very tragic character, which I find unusual then that there isn't that many representations of her in modern literature. There's plenty of paintings um, from around the Renaissance, there's plenty of, you know, there are references to her in, yeah, uh, in Shakespeare, there's reference to her in other Renaissance literature and art. She, she is very much there in the classical canon, but in modern pop culture, there's not really anything of her. Priam sometimes can get mentioned, but even in, say, the film Troy, which that's getting its own video, trust me, um, she's not a character. Hecabe, the mother of all these heroes, and, and who ultimately is one of the worst victims of Troy, of the fall of Troy, is just not portrayed. Um, She's also often not portrayed in other versions of Troy. Um, Priam sometimes gets mentioned, but not not that much, to be honest. The royal family, other than Paris and maybe Hector, do get taken out of the myth a little bit. But Hecabe is off is just nearly never mentioned at all. Um, maybe that's because people think that it is too tragic to have this the fall of this old woman. Um, maybe people just don't think motherhood's important and don't want to represent old women in modern media. Maybe. Dunno. Um, there are a few references to her. I think in the Percy Jackson's Hero of Olympus series she does appear as in her dog form as a, um, a companion to Hecate, um, the goddess of magic, but really, again, she's not very portrayed very much and I think there is something there about why um, she isn't portrayed. Um, either people just forget her or think she's a superfluous element, element to the myths, or they don't want to portray the just true sadness of the fall of Troy. They don't re you know, the Trojan War is all very exciting to portray in an action thing, but, um, in classical literature the fall of Troy is something awful. Um, even to Greeks, even to the supposed victors of the thing in literature and in the Iliad, and in the, the fall of Troy is not a good thing. Um, and really, that's what it, Hecabe really encapsulates. Um, Hecabe and Andromache, the wife of Hector, that who I'll do a video on her, she has a good couple of tragedies and things, but he Hecabe just isn't shown, and there needs to be some representation of how awful uh, that sort of event is on someone's life and um, the Trojan women uh, is still portrayed and Hecabe is still portrayed as tragedies um, the Trojan women is actually um, goes through periodic uh, retellings I think it becomes either very in fashion or out of fashion in the drama world um, especially in times of war I know it was portrayed a lot in the second world in the first world war the second world war and when people when uh, pe uh, when Britain and America first invaded Iraq there was a lot of performances of the Trojan women to sort of in it does encapsulate the feeling of what happens to a population when they lose a war so and Hecabe is a main character in that, but modern pop culture, she's not really there. So think of that as what you will, and yes, uh, go read The Trojan Women, go read The Iliad, as I always say, go read Hecabe the Tragedy, they are fantastic. Um, if you liked this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next week with a different sort of video. So I'll see you then. Okay, bye guys.